Hey guys, it's Claudel Triple XB, and welcome back for another Destiny video. Today I have a new original glitch for you guys. It's a glitch that I've been working on for a long time. Um, you know, it's not a big major thing, but it is something new, something original. So, firstly, let's head to the moon in patrol, and basically, just follow what I do, and I'll add some more notes in when I get there. Oh. Also, I may add, when I did originally discover this little part, I could only reach a certain, up to a certain point. Couldn't get any further because the only guardian I had was a warlock. Um, I started up a hunter and a titan a while ago. Titans I only level up on Sundays when I do a tri Twitch stream. But my hunter have leveled up to 31 now. So, I went back to the area that I tried as a warlock and I was able to further the glitch and it's it's pretty good it's pretty cool something new so I hope you guys enjoy it but let's just uh let's just get there first So yeah guys, here we are in the Hellmouth. Now we just have to go right over here to the entrance. Well, the main entrance, where you go down. I gotta say guys, I really love hand cannons. Especially Thorn, but Lost, Lost Word's pretty good as well. Okay, so this is the start of it. You can actually, um, I discovered after I made this video, you can actually glitch slightly more to the right. So you can actually glitch your whole sparrow through and I'll go to the back. So basically, instead of glitching in there, um, breach to the right of that and you'll actually land on the rock directly to the right there. And it's a lot easier. Um, but I didn't want to go back and basically do the whole video again, so either way, either do the way I did or the other way, I, which I recommend. Now, all we need to do here is jump here, and then here, obviously. Let's work our way across, just to this point though. And there's a spawn box there, as you can see. We just want to get on top of that. And when you do get on top of it, you can't see it, but there's some invisible... There's like an invisible barrier, but there's some teeth in it, so just crouch down and go through it. And when you come through it, you can actually see that there's... It's like, teeth. See what I mean there? It's like teeth. So that's how we get through there. Simply here, you can jump up here. You can actually explore this a little bit up the top there, but there's not much to explore. And from here, you just want to jump on there. That's the wee archway where you go through. You actually go all the way through it. And then there's the next spawn box, which we will be getting on top of. I don't know why, but Every time I find a spawn box, I also have to open the door. And here there's more little teeth, as you can see, so you can crouch down and get out that way. And I just fall down behind the spawn box. And from here you want to stay exactly right on the edge, because if you go over there, you're going to die. So you want to stay right on that and go all the way over to that wall. And I recommend crouching while you do that. 
just so you move slower and more precisely. Now at one point everything is going to disappear and when that happens all you need to do is look downward slowly or even turn 90 degrees to the left as you'll see me do in a second. So we'll go 90 degrees, line up with that little black line and slowly edge all the way across. Oh, and I may add at this point, this is only possible with the Hunter. Because you do need Blade Dance as well. Right now I'm using my Gunslinger for double jump. I haven't unlocked triple jump yet. Oh, how? Is it? Did I do a triple jump? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Go down this little bit and over to this last little edge. Now that's as far as we can currently go. There's like literally no more ledges to jump on. So here, switch over to Blade Dancer and we will need to Blade Dance somewhere. Obviously we'd have to wait for a while so with some little magic we will uh, speed up our process and get our super. There we go, super is ready. Now here you want to jump, jump, activate and freaking blade dance. This, this, this will take a few times probably. Because there's an invisible, um, well you'll see what I mean, you can kind of see it if you change the camera. See that? You basically have to get on that, it's invisible there, from that angle at least. And you're safe all the way, uh, as long as you stay to the right, you're safe. You can walk all the way around up to that bit on the top left where you can see. Oh, and as you can see we did load the uh, gatehouse area. So from in here you can just basically run around, explore, load other areas, which I didn't actually load any more areas in this video. I think this is the actual first time I explored it, so yeah. And my ass fell down there, but it's it's pretty easy to get out of. Just go up on that little ledge, jump up a few times, you'll see like a rock. You can land on the rock and get back out. Or get back up, I should say. And from there, that's actually the barrier that we jumped on. Texture we jumped on to actually get there. You can run all the way along and actually load back into the Hellmouth area. But above the ceiling, which is pretty cool. So yeah guys, you pretty much get free reign to go anywhere you want. Um, I haven't given it a full extensive uh, run around to see all the areas that you can load, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's new, it's original. Um, if you guys like it, we like would be good, I guess. That looks pretty crazy. It's like the rest, like the outer Hellmouth. You can actually see everything still. Not everything, but most of it. No idea why it's still looted. Like those bits, at least. Like the outer textures and stuff. You're inside, like you're you're inside the thing the whole time. Don't know why all the outer stuff's still looting.
Yeah guys, I hope you have liked the video. Pop in there and have a wee mess around, I guess. So yeah. Until next time guys, this is Claudel XXXB, and as always, thanks for watching.